It's the start of a new season. Things are slowly getting back to normal here on the channel. And of course, we should celebrate by thanking all of the new Patreon backers. Uh, so thank you very much to new pledges, Patreon, to new folk over the last 10 days or so while I've been a little bit out of commission. Uh, so thank you very much to Robin Weller and John Davis for your new uh, subscriptions on Patreon. Plus Robin Co. sorry, Robert Co. Oh, I'm a monster. Robert Co. and Hayley Hankins. You've both increased your pledges. So thank you very much to all of you. Your support, as ever, massively appreciated. Thank you to everyone who's involved in the Patreon. It really is the difference maker around here. If you too would like to be involved in the Patreon, you can do that at patreon.com slash lelujo. Hello and welcome to Club 4, part 12 of non Need to Legend. I'm Kev and coming up on today's episode, we have all of our summer transfers at Portsmouth, plus our first game of the season away against Barnsley. We are still with Portsmouth, that's the big headline of all of this. There weren't really any jobs at all that were in the kind of leagues that I'd be looking to move into that came up over the summer. There were a few jobs in the Championship, but I think as Championship clubs go, we're a decent mid-table Championship club with the potential to push on further. I don't think we need to move on to a different championship club. And there wasn't really anything that came up in any of the major European top divisions. So we're with Portsmouth for a little while longer. Um, if we have a really good start to the season, we might even do a full year with them. Who knows? Um, but we have made quite a number of transfers. I think we've had a pretty decent summer, actually, if we if it lets us show you. Um, there's been a lot of panic trying to get loans in. The one area we haven't really strengthened is it the back? We've really struggled to bring in defenders to the point where I've offered probably eight different centre-backs loan deals for the season at this point, and they've all, they would all be massive improvements. I want to bring two in, or wanted to bring two in, and uh, just haven't been able to do it. They all go somewhere else. So we're still desperately scratching around trying to bring in defenders, um, which is the one downer on the, uh, on the summer transfer business. But everything else, I think, has gone really well. Um, we've sent a couple of the youngsters out on loan to Walsall for the season, which I think they'll both develop well. They're both pushing on the fringes of the first team anyway. Anyway, um, his hair is terrible, which is why we had to send him out. Um, and Philip Brennan as well. They're both two and a half star current ability. They could probably be fringe players for us this season. As it is, they can go out to Walsall in League Two, hopefully dominate the league. If they're both doing really well at Christmas, we'll bring them back then and it'll be like two shiny new signings. Um, we also let Ryan Foster go on a free transfer to Leeds. There were a few clubs in for him. He went on trial to Palace as well, I think. So Premier League interest in this lad who just never looked any good don't really know where the interest came from, but apparently Premier League clubs like him. But of course, we're not here to look at the players who've left. We're interested in all of the ones who've signed. And as usual, it's been largely free transfers. I would have liked there to have been more loans, but it hasn't been possible to bring in more loans yet. And then we've actually spent some money as well on a non-league to legend alumni in the spirit of keeping the... Uh, the relationships between previous seasons of non to Legend going. We did the Hall of Fame thing the other week. Um, Andre Andre Dizel, we'll start with him. He's, I think, the most expensive player we've bought in non to Legend this year so far. I don't know that we've spent money on anyone in non to Legend so far this year, at least not significant money like £275,000, but it seemed like a deal that we just couldn't pass up. I was trying to bring Oakley Booth back in on a free transfer. He was with us on loan last season, the young lad from Tottenham who got recalled right at the end of last season, but he wanted £30,000 a week to come to us and would not budge to the point where we didn't even get to negotiate a contract that he would think over. He just went and signed for Aberdeen on £4,000 a week. I don't get it. I just don't get it. Uh, so we had to have a little bit of a look further afield for a replacement for him in midfield. And this fella came up on my scout reports. He'd been released by Ipswich last year, had been slumming it down in League 2 for Grimsby, which, of course, he just tore League 2 up. He's just far too good for League 2. Was available for a decent price. Would come straight into that uh, role that Oakley Booth uh, was in as one of our starting three. Seemed like a bit of a no-brainer, especially with all the potential ability that he's still got. I know he's age 24 now, so he does need to push on and start to fulfil some of that potential. But we've seen in the past, on previous seasons and only to legend, just how good Andre Dezel could be. And if he's half the player he's been in the past, he's going to be an absolute superstar for us. So he comes in for actual cash money. Filling out the rest of the squad is just a bunch of free, free transfers. So Declan Rudd, I think, is an upgrade for us in goal, 32 years old. 
three and a half star current ability. So a full star of ability better than Frank Fielding. Uh, Rudd's been playing for Forest down in League One for a few years. Um, another one who's passed through Blackburn on his little... Uh, I mean, basically, unless a goalkeeper's played for Blackburn, we're not allowed to sign him. That seems to be the new rule. But I think he's a decent upgrade. Patrick Van Aanholt, um, we mock him a lot on the stream save, but then we're an established Premier League team on the stream. We're a lower mid-table championship team with Portsmouth, and I think he's a cracking signing as a left-back. He's getting on a bit, but he was relatively cheap at only £5,000 a week. Three-star current ability, so he's as good, if not, I think he's an improvement on Perrington. Um, he's been around a bit, bags of experience at Premier League level and certainly at this level, it seemed, like, like a, again, a bit of a no-brainer. Uh, Samuel Shashua is a 24-year-old attacking midfielder. We always have to bring in a new attacking midfielder, um, even though the one that we had last year was, uh, I mean, Schmodix is brilliant. Grant was brilliant the year before. Uh, Shashua might be even better. Three-star current ability, four-star potential. In, in theory, not as good as the other two yet, but I like the fact that he's got a 20 for determination. He's driven in pursuit of his goals. He's quick. He's got the potential to be a good um, attacking midfielder for us in the future. But the important thing is he's quick, smart and works hard. What more do you want from a young player who's got potential? That's a player who's going to go and fulfil some potential and become a bit of a superstar. Been playing in the Premier League. Uh, well, I say playing. The only game time he's really had was for Posh down in League One, where he didn't exactly impress, but he had a couple of games in the Premier League last year for Palace. And relatively, again, relatively cheap on a decent length contract. We're going to get him for the best years of his career, and hopefully he's going to come in and be a superstar. Uh, Mark Beavers is an old man who we signed out of desperation, 33 years old, uh, but he's got three-star current ability. He's our best centre-back because we haven't been able to sign anybody else. I don't want to have to have Mark Beavers as our best centre-back, but we can't sign anyone else. We're still. I would still love to bring two good centre-backs in on loan. Um, it isn't happening yet. And then the, other, the one guy we have brought in on loan, David Hall, is a 20-year-old striker from Chelsea. Three and a half star current ability, five star potential. If he can be as good as Barry Scott was last year, then we've got a superstar. And also Barry Scott's back because we extended his loan for another year as well. So we've got two young Premier League strikers who are full of goals. We've got Ugbo, who is, I think, third on the prediction for championship top scorer this year, plus Robbie Dunn, who everyone knows is brilliant and I never doubted. We just need to bring in some defenders, and that's why our committed spending is going to be way over budget, because we've got about five defenders that we've offered in for loans at the moment because we're desperate to bring somebody in. Uh, they, they're just not arriving. So hopefully I'll have some good news with regard to loney centre-backs on the next episode. And if you're thinking, Kev, how much can you possibly need defenders? You're all right. We conceded 13 goals in a pre-season friendly against Crawley. Now, to be fair, the under-23s and the under-18s were both playing that day as well. So there was a bit of rotation in the squad. But as you can see, there's players in that team who were playing regularly for us last year. And there's certainly no excuses for conceding 13 goals. I've never seen anything like it. Utterly ridiculous. Aye. Right, let's get into our first game of the season anyway, before I have a one, one coughing fit too many and forget to edit it out. So... This is, I imagine at this point there's been like six coffin fits that I haven't edited out. I would have got to a certain point and just thought, you know what, I just need to get the video out, forget the coffin. Um, so this is our team. We've got Rudd in goal, a back four of Van Arnholt, Beavers, Nelson and De Silva. With Tunnicliffe, Dazelle and Grant in midfield and Shashua in behind Hall and Scott. Both of them want to be attacking strikers. We're going to try it just this once. Because if we can get free scoring excitement out of our front two with Shashua as well, that will be awesome. I assume Ugbo comes in probably midway through the game as a target man on support and just links it all up properly again. But just, just for the first game of the season, let's have a little play and just see if it's possible to have an advanced forward, a poacher and a shadow striker all work together and just be goal machines. That's what we want. We've We've been... We've been efficient for too long, both with Portsmouth and with Oxford before us. It, this this year's not a need to legend. It's all been a little bit sensible and a little bit efficient so far. What we want now is a team that's going to score 120 goals by Christmas. A proper, proper Kev team. We were getting there with Oxford before we were so rudely stolen away by Portsmouth. And it would be nice to think that we can uh, 
start doing it again here. Here's Scott and forces a save out of their keeper. I imagine because I've bigged it up as a goal fest, it's going to be a boring nil-nil or we're just going to get absolutely thumped. But I don't know. I've got a good feeling about this Portsmouth team. I think this is a team that could have an outside go at the playoffs if we can get off to a decent start. We, we didn't miss out by a million miles last year. And that was with the first 10 or 15 games of the season. We were pretty sure that it was we were going to be in a relegation battle. So if we can start with playoff aspirations this year, then you never know. But we've just been absolutely ripped apart because, of course, it doesn't matter how good we are going forward. And we haven't been that good going forward yet. But it doesn't matter how good we are going forward. As was pointed out to me many times last season, we're playing in the championship with a team with a defence that wouldn't get into a lot of League Two teams. Yeah, we've improved the goalkeeper and the left back, but our centre backs, we've got our third choice left back playing right back. We've got a League One centre back and an old man alongside him. I mean, it's just, it is not a championship quality back four. And we desperately, desperately need to fix it. Oh, but we have had 66% of possession and we're creating chances. So there's your positive. Van Arnholt, Intergram, Dazelle and Tunnicliffe. To Shashua, Tunnicliffe, look at this. We're playing lovely football. Who cares about the defence when we can attack like that? And Hall, on his debut, grabs an equaliser. I don't I don't know how much time passed there. I want to say it was an immediate response. I don't think it was. I think there was a little bit of a like a 10-minute gap almost. But this is some lovely build-up play. Knocking it around in the midfield. Barry Scott drifts out wide, crosses into Hall. There's your advance forward and poacher combining. And if they can do that, it doesn't matter how bad our defence is because we'll we'll have lots of 13 threes like we saw in pre-season. It's just sometimes we'll be on the right side of them. And if we're on the right side of them, more often than we're on the wrong side of them, it'll be a successful season, I think. I mean, how many times can you lose 13-3 without getting sacked? There's, there's today, Kev's question of the day. Oh... Right, um, a little bit of a little bit of business to attend to as well. Uh, just to make you aware, I hope we're going to be back to a normal release schedule of videos this week. If you're watching this in the future, I know this means nothing to you, so bear with me for a minute. Um, there's a chance the video schedule will still be a little bit sporadic this week because um, Andy, my kid, is now off school ill again. Um, I'm still not 100% either, so between the two of us, there's going to be some days, especially when Anna's not here, when it's going to be difficult to record during the day. So, although this, hopefully, made it out on time on Monday, he says, recording at Monday lunchtime and hoping he doesn't have any issues in editing. Tomorrow, if Andy's off school tomorrow, I'm not going to be able to record during the day tomorrow at all. So, tomorrow's videos might be a little bit later in the evening or there might just be a back in the borough rather than a non to ledger. We'll figure something out, but it might just it might still be a few more days of a little bit sporadic releases before we're into a more normal release schedule again. Much apologies. Hopefully we get back to normal as soon as possible. But, you know, needs must. At least we've got some out today, or one out today. Right, let's get let's get Ugbo. In fact, no, let's get Ugbo on. I want to get Ugbo into the team. Um, swap them to over. Ugbo, target man, support. Boom. Oh, actually, Grant should be... It can be that. Do I want you to be on support? I want you to be on attack. Right, here we go. Let's go grab a win. And we've got Ugbo on, who's signed a massive, expensive new contract. I'm conscious of the fact we've just made a triple substitution and we've left an injured Andre Dezel on the pitch. But he was injured before the match. So... You know, he's injured a lot. That's why he was down in League Two, because he likes to be injured. So he's just going to have to get used to playing when he's injured. And hopefully he'll still be averaging the seven point, whatever it was that he was averaging last season down in League Two. Um, right, Van Arnholt again. He's been involved in quite a lot. He's on a lot of the set pieces as well. So we should be seeing quite a lot of, of uh, Patrick Van Arnholt. Hall beats his man. Cross comes into Ogbo, who nods it down to Grant. And there you go. There's your... There's your goal to put us in the lead. I won't say winner just yet, but it was another well-worked goal. The front three, a different combination of front three, but combining rather pleasantly all the same. This time it's Hall who peels out onto the wing. Cross comes in, Ugbo nods down, and Grant is there. We've had two very well-worked goals today. We just need to fix the defence. If we can fix the defence, I am convinced there is a playoff push in us. 
but it's such a big if because we've obviously got no money left to buy someone so now we've just got to hope that some of these loans come off and that they're not actually useless because we've got to the point now where I haven't even got time to scout them anymore. We've gone through about eight over the summer scouting them properly and we're just desperate. So all I've done is I've gone to my director of football, said three centre-backs available for loan. I've put in loan offers for all of them. None of them are scouted because we have the attribute masking on. There's no way for me to even get an inkling of if they're any good. So if they all want to come... I might just bring all three of them in and just send back the one who's not very good. Or <laughs> if, if there's only one who's not very good, or we might just do it based on who agrees to come first. It's going to be a complete lottery. But in theory, we'll get some defenders in who are at least equivalent standard to what we've got because we don't have much in the way of injury cover behind these two, even though these two aren't very good. At least they're defenders and we don't really have anyone behind them. So, uh, Defensive wise, it's all a little bit desperate, but regardless of defensive issues, I think we have scored a win on the first day of the season. We have marvellous stuff. Um, does it put us into a playoff spot to start the season? Because obviously, league table on the first day of the season, incredibly important. Oh, we're outside of the playoffs. The season's practically over. Pshh. If you have enjoyed that, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for me. Again, reminder, videos might be a little bit sporadic for a few days. I apologise. I'll do the best I can. Hopefully you understand. I'm sure it'll be okay. Uh, subscribe to the channel for regular-ish videos once we can get back up and running and get rid of all this silly illness. And thank you very much for watching.